Welcome back. You are now looking at Google.com. You are looking at the web browser Chrome, and you are looking at your Camtasia recorder. And what we're going to be doing is we're going to go over a few basics of recording activity that you undertake on your screen. And this is a very simple process. You can decide on whether or not you'd like your video image to appear or your talking head video. You can have that video record yourself as you describe what you're seeing on your screen. It's going to appear in the right hand side, but you'll be able to move that video any place in the editing process. So even though it'll appear on the timeline, you decide where that video is going to appear. And all you'll need to do before you start recording is to turn your camera on just as we did in the last video deciding on where the camera is. In most cases, that is probably not what you are going to do. Now, one thing that you are going to want to do is you're going to want to decide whether or not you're going to record the entire screen where you're recording or you're going to record a portion of the screen. Either way, you can do this with Camtasia. So, for example, let's decide that we are going to determine what we're going to record by looking at this menu. And we can decide whether or not we're going to record in widescreen. In most cases, that will be your entire screen. That will make it full screen. Now, the other aspect of this that you are going to want to be aware of is whether or not your recording area and your recording standard is going to be standard, which is 4x3, or widescreen, which is 16x9. If possible, if your video is going to be seen on YouTube or any other video sharing site, you're going to want to use the widescreen standard. Now, once you have decided how you're going to record your screen, if you have not done so already, you're going to want to make sure that you have the right microphone that you want to actually have recording. And once you've done that, you are going to want to hit the record button. When you hit the record button, this recording toolbar will go into your toolbar at the bottom and your screen, everything that you'll be showing on it, will be live in the video. And you will be live as you describe it. So if you want to do the actions, you'll be able to do them in silence, or you'll be able to talk people through it. So what we're going to do is we're going to click the record button, and we're going to advance through a few pages, and then have the video come up in the editing process. And once again, in most cases, if you are going to use two screens, you're going to want to slide this to the right or slide it back. And you can decide on which screen you're going to use by clicking this custom button. And here's what you're going to notice. You're going to notice that this screen or the recording area is going to be on the screen that you're looking in front of you. However, what would happen if we wanted to move this screen to another one that we're actually using? We can click our mouse and drag the screen to the screen. Now, it, it's going to appear off the recording screen that you're looking at, but the new recording screen, or what's about to be recorded, is now on a second screen on the left-hand side. You can't see it because we've, we have moved the recording area to another screen we can move that recording area back to our screen. And if we want to make sure that we get the entire screen, we're just then going to go and click full screen and that's going to give us the entire screen. And you want to do all of this before you start recording. You don't want to do this in the middle of your recording. In fact, it's not even possible to do. However, what you don't want to have is you don't want to have a situation where you're trying to make up for the fact that you didn't do this ahead of time. Try to set your recording up ahead of time so that you have the screen you're going to be recording on. And again, you can toggle back and forth before the video starts using the custom and full screen features. Okay, so now all we'll need to do in order to get started, now once again, this recording toolbar, typically it's not going to be where you are if you're using two screens. It's going to be off to the right or off to the left, depending on how you have your screen situated, and you're just going to click record. Now remember, we're going to see a little warning message there, and that's because we're using two instances of Camtasia. Okay, so there's a warning message, we're going to click OK, and then we're going to get the countdown. 
Okay, so now we're recording. We'll just scroll through these few instances. And what we're going to do now is we're going to stop the video. Now, once again, typically what you would do to stop your Camtasia video is you would hit the Control F10 button. However, in this case, we can't do it because we're using two instances of Camtasia on this video, but you can use it when you are actually recording. We can find out where our recording toolbar is by highlighting or hovering over it, but once again, you don't want to do this in the actual video because this part will actually show up in your video, which you probably do not want. So for the sake of stopping the video so that you can see it, we're going to pull the recording toolbar into our space and we're going to click stop video. Now one aspect of this that you're going to want to be aware of is you can click the add marker button if you feel as if you have something that you want to mark during the course of the video. Maybe there's an occurrence or maybe you had an error. Maybe there's something that you didn't do. You can click the add marker button and these markers will be part of your recording. Okay, so with that, we're going to click the stop button so that we can stop the process and then the video can come into our editing timeline. So let's click stop here. And what you're going to notice are a couple of things. Number one, if you look down in track one, what you'll notice is that there's a marker there. There's a marker here. There's a marker here, and those are the four times that we actually hit the marker button. And we can see those markers if we go to the timeline. And we click markers, and you'll see them. So we're going to get rid of that for now. And this is the point at which if you want to add things on top of your video, you would use the annotations button. If you want to transition between subjects, you can do that. And remember that process is that we would find the place in between subjects or places in the video. We would then make sure we have that portion highlighted. We're gonna... And then we're going to hit the split button. Once we hit the split button, then all we're going to do is we are going to then drag our transition into that area. And so what will happen is you'll actually have a transition to happen, however you've dragged it in. So you can decide on which of the effects that you are going to use, which ones are going to be most effective in annotations. You can decide on behaviors or even animations. So we'll talk a little more about those things in the Editing Basics video. But with that, we have completed our Recording Basics video. You've now learned how to do a basic screen share video, and you are now ready with all of the other instances of understanding what happens in the effects area. You can go back and look at any of those individual videos to figure out which one you want to use as well as understanding what happens on the timeline. Okay, so with that, thanks, and I will see you in another video.